Hello everyone, or welcome back. I'm Marie. There is a story out of Nigeria. Four Nigerian farmers are suing Shell, a multinational oil company, for polluting the Niger Delta. When the pollution occurred, it's been over a very long time. It did a very, very harmful things to their environment and also affected their lives very, very negatively. As some lost a baby, as some lost their sight due to the pollution. So they are suing Shell in the Netherlands and they are being supported by a Dutch environmental organization known as Mildeseu to take on this case. It has been dragging on for a very, very long time. A shell has tried to prolong it over the years so that it doesn't happen. It's already 12 years since it has been dragging on. Tell me what happened to the baby when you took it to the field. The area the farm is, the oil have polluted the area. The oil will fill, the whole road will fill with this condemned oil. By then, I was pregnant. After a year, I started going to the farm with the little baby I have. No one to take care of. When I start taking him to the farm, I will lie him before going to work. The crude oil surrounds the baby, and as the sun the oil become watery. So this little baby from two years inhale this oil. So before we get down to the village, the body, the child have weak. If you now breastfeed him, you refuse to take the breast. So I was just looking a way to get money to rush the child to the hospital. We lost the baby. It, I, I know it is shell fault. That is why my baby died because there was no cleanup, there is no money. Shell is not doing anything for us. But uh, let me read for you an article from France 24. The article reads In a long standing case that has taken 12 years to go to court, Lawyers for four Nigerian farmers accused the multinational oil company Shell for polluting the Niger Delta. The four farmers, although two have since died, are demanding Shell to compensate them and clean up the catastrophic oil spills that ruined their three fishing villages on the banks of the Niger Delta, causing disease and, pre and preventing them from fishing. Shell, an Anglo-Dutch company, tried to prevent the case from being heard in the Netherlands, but in 2015, judges ruled that the case should go ahead. Farmers and their relatives, who are backed by Dutch environmental group Mildefensi, watched the court proceedings via video link from Nigeria. Quoting one of the lawyer's words, this has been a long-running case and you are aware of the subsequent problems as a result of the oil pollution in the Niger Delta. She showed the judges' videos shot in and around the southern eastern Nigerian villages of Goy, Oruma and Ikot Adaudo, displaying gushing oil spills and showing how villagers had their hands streaked with chemicals after dragging them through the oil-laden water. Three oil spills had occurred in the 2000s in that place. One of the plaintiffs, known as Chief Oguru, believed that he lost his sight due to the oil spills near Oruma. He spoke to them before the court case began. The lawyer said that Shell dumped some 24,000 liters in that area in 2005. Chief Oguru added in quoting his words, the land that contained our source of income had vanished. I hope that the Dutch court will give us a favorable judgment. Shell has repeatedly said that the spills were from oil bunkering or sabotage and maintained it had cleaned up areas where pollution did happen. Quoting the words of the director of Shell's Nigerian subsidiary in quotation, the law in Nigeria is clear that operators are not liable to pay compensation for the damage from sabotage spills. Nigeria was the world's ninth largest oil producer in 2018, pumping out volumes valued at some 43.6 billion US dollars 
or 3.8% of the total global production. This is a very sad story because there is human rights violation when you pollute the environment where people live, you know, people lose lives, uh, the woman who lost her baby, the man who is blind, you know, even just the negative health effects, you know, to people who are in this area. So it just shows, you know, these big corporations, definitely, they don't care about the lives of the humans. They don't care about the lives of the people. But I also do think the leaders in this particular area are supposed to, in one way or another, okay, leave alone the local leaders, probably leaders at national level. If the company is not, you know, respecting the environmental standards in this area, then it's just are really sad. I was reading some of the tweets by this Dutch environmental organization and one of them says, a meanwhile in court, according to Shell, the oil in Nigeria is of such quality that it hardly causes any damage to the environment. You can imagine. So Shell feels their oil doesn't, you know, have any adverse effects on the environment and that's just crazy. Another tweet says, according to Shell, there was no oil pollution on the land of the Nigerian farmers, but Shell says it has cleaned up the oil properly. They just look like, you know what, we don't care, we are a big company, we are so huge, we are so international. It is a very, very sad story. I hope they do get some compensation, but even if they get some compensation, really they can never, you know, it can't, the damage can't be reversed, unfortunately. Uh, share your thoughts in the comment section and let me know what you think about uh, this incident and uh, check out uh, my YouTube channel, uh, in Instagram and Twitter all at Ray Kimbabazi and see you on the next story. Bye.